how's that for a view? Uh, you can't tell. I'm on a different loader. This is our. This is my my loader. The uh, I say it's mine. But <laughs> uh, this is our newest 2016, 2015. Sorry, 290X2 shovel logger. Uh, dang nice loader. Dang nice loader. It's got all the fancy new amenities, all that stuff. And that's a pretty good spot to put you guys to start. Maybe. Oh, you're looking right up between my my travel sticks there. Well, that ain't gonna work out very good, is it? Oh, uh, we'll try a different spot. Uh, anyway, so we're in the thin. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit before the yard gets rigged up. Terrible cold. Nose is running like a four-year-old. Uh, anyway, it's gonna be a little bit before we uh, rig the yard up because um, we gotta get cut. Plus, there's a bunch of uh, roadside and tong tossing. Roadside is is anything that's close enough to reach the road the cutters can fall uh, a lot more productive do it that way just fall it into the road then we'll go along clean it up process it do all that stuff and uh, let's try a different spot i don't think i like that spot what about that uh anyway go along clean it up it's pretty good for it. I gotta, I gotta check the diameter. We got a different different guy on the processor. We'll explain that in a second. Right. Right. Well, I don't know about five inch print, but it's a tall run. So it'll be, uh, you know, Oops. at least a six inch print. Uh, anyway, so I told you guys the other day that the uh, we parted ways with our processor operator, so today we have Zach, the kid that was pulling Reagan on the other job, which is the owner's son that's pulling Reagan. Let's get that door shut. Big old damn refrigerator doors anyways. Uh, so we'll get out here a little bit, walk around, we'll look at the thin. For those of you that uh, don't know much about logging or whatnot, it's it's a whole different ball game. We got standing trees everywhere, so uh, the same with the, the equipment as with being in the brush. You don't just uh, put logs or pick logs up and start moving them in a thin. You got to make sure there's no trees around. The, the whole reason we're doing this this is how we, because of, of the conservationists and all that, and they stop all the clear cut logging at the BLM Forest Service timber. So by thinning it, then we can we can still harvest the wood. <coughs> and there's two different reasons you thin. One is you're improving the stand, being the stand of timber. And the other is you're improving the habitat. You're making better ground for the animals. So if, uh, anyways, if you're uh, if you're improving the stand, when you knock the bark off of a tree, if it gets down into the cambium layer, which I'll show you what that is too, uh, if it breaks that cambri cambium layer, then the tree you've damaged the tree and it starts rotting away there. And uh, there's actually one out here that's been damaged, so I'll show you what it does to a live tree. Now, if you're improving the habitat, they don't mind. And it's, it's kind of silly, you'd think they still would, but yeah, they don't mind if you uh, scar the trees and stuff up. So, you know, so when the job is done, you, you, you can tell definitely tell the difference. Uh, you go down through it, and if, if the job was to improve the habitat, then you'll see what we call damage. 
and that's where you knock the bark off the trees all over the place and it actually is, is ugly I even if we're just we're trying to improve the habitat I, I think that it should still you, you shouldn't be knocking the bark off the trees because it, it, it is ugly so uh, those are the reasons you thin but also when you thin it uh, you go in and thin a, a, a job out and then you wait 10 12 years and go back why the heck is this thing god this thing is jerky jerky anyways that you go back in 10 12 years later and the trees that were left that are going to be really nice trees because you're opening up the, the the crown of the timber and so they get the ones that are left get more sunlight they get more water so on and so forth I think you understand what I'm getting at now so when you're thinning you go through and when you're cutting them now some are pre-marked and I'm looking around here and I see an awful lot of orange paint so I'm assuming that these have been pre-marked let's uh, swing around here yeah there's two trees right here Anyways, hopefully you can see see the orange paint on that tree the orange paint those are the ones that are gonna stay some units uh, they do not pre-mark but basically what you're doing is you're going in and you pick a plot and a plot is I think it's a 50 by 50 foot area it might be in and, and, and let's let me back that up a little bit because each unit, job, block, whatever you want to call it, could be different. So, uh, you know, it depends on how thick the timber is already on the job. Anyway, so you go in, you pick your plot, whatever it is, 50 by 50, 80 by 80. You take, if there's any trees that are, that are already diseased or dead, you automatically take those you take the ones that are, are uh, the smaller trees and then leave the more dominant trees so when you come back in 10 or 12 years or whatever the cycle is uh, I think Warehouser does a, a 12 to 15 year cycle on their thinning BLM I'm not sure about anyway so you come back in whatever the prescribed amount of years is and that timber is really nice really 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 nice so and you like I say we, uh, we'll get to go through a lot more of that once I get out of the brush we'll be able to take the camera right with us and walk right around and, and I'll be able to show you more the dominant trees and, and so on and so forth but uh, so anyways that's what we're doing today uh, I want to get on this processor and get some a video of it because it's different than the one that I got the video of the other day. It's the same same type of uh, it's, a, it's a link belt. It's a 290. The other one was a 330 link belt. Same uh, processor head, the the Wartaw, but. Uh, it's newer it's just set up different the controls are different that's the question I got was you know what makes what do what and uh, like I say this this processor is, is completely different than the other one the controls on it anyway so we'll do a, uh, a this is this and, and that's that and all that and if you haven't already noticed that this one is completely different than the one we've been on Okay, there we go. Uh, this loader, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just different. Uh, I like these sure grips. I really like them. Dash is different. You know, it, it everything works the same. Still, this is my my grapple. My this is my throttle up and down. This is the most important button. This whole shovel. You ready for this? Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> and the heater work and the AC works really good. Here's our dash. Um, we got a battery going dead, so I gotta pull it out and put new batteries in it tonight. So that's why that says electrical problem. 
Nice radio, works good. It's a nice little cab, lots of room. Clean, I keep it as clean as possible.